We've seen our best of one in white. We've seen our best of one in red deck wins. Now we see the best of both in this deck here, Boros Aggro today. Thank you for tuning in. As always, down below in the timestamps, we will walk through the strategy objective of this list. There's a couple of key callouts that I do want to talk about. And then additionally, we'll go play that competitive magic as we always do in standard best of one. Lastly, pulling everything together in a retrospective. Now, if you got a question, if you got a comment, as always, please let me know because I love to hear from you and come swing by our Discord server. Thank you to the community there. Thank you for your support. Another great way to support the channel down below all right so here's what we got going on boros aggro a couple of key pieces here with some of the changes with wilds of eldraine we are taking advantage of charming scoundrel here i love this card giving us a couple different options very versatile for a two drop with haste we can make it a little bit bigger we can when it dies if you got the token attached uh to this one um you will get that again kind of additional swing that can make a difference treasure token for ramp and then additionally or smoothing um and then additionally the discard if you're looking for something we're also taking advantage of what i really like monstrous rage this card is awesome it can be a blowout card it can make a huge difference and gives a ton of value at instant speed for one now the other thing that we're grabbing here too is raging battle mouse this thing's great because um, this does have celebration giving another creature plus one plus one and your second spell to cast one less giving you some really really good ability to steamroll and the other thing is charming scoundrel can take advantage two ways create a treasure token or wicked roll token um, in order to hit celebration as an example which is a great thing lastly in white we are grabbing regal bunny bunny corn this guy is a powerhouse at a two drop getting bigger and bigger and bigger for each of uh, the number of non-land permanents we control additionally don't forget that it's not creatures non-land permanents so that can be ossification it can be a uh, token from here it can be lots and lots of things that way now in the core shell um, we're still keeping a lot of great things that has been in this one in the past um, additionally i like the options we're not running three ofs or sorry uh, four ofs of everything we have options which is something i always like and at the top end, really low curve at three, taking advantage of Siege, Siege Veteran here and Dust Legion combo. Again, the plus one, plus one counters, draw and trigger, which can be huge. So don't forget about that combo. Um, it can really make a difference for you. Now, lastly, one slight criticism of this list is um, it's mainly all creatures, some removal here, some tricks um, and some enchantments. But it does miss burn to the face having your one drop and your two drop slot for more burn could affect and, and navigate this list a little bit differently something to consider uh for you so i wanted to make sure i called that out for your awareness all right strategy objective of this list press 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 don't stop pressing and keep pressing some more that is aggro let's go play all right now again if you got a question if you got a comment about that need some more understanding of the cards let me know because i love to do that um again like i said we've covered the mono red we've covered the mono white um we've got other great decks here that we've been running i really really am enjoying this format there is a lot of mono red um but that is okay now uh again we always do our weekly series here on the channel it's a great way for you to stay up to date on uh the meta as well i love doing that um we are coming close to the end of september my gosh that's crazy uh to think about here we don't have the combo with the plus one plus one we can make this work though with kumano so we're gonna do that um, and make a really big dusk legion here we'll see if we can get away with it though um i don't know if we will because this is either sack or kill or something like that that can make a huge difference um they may just ah here we go now we can outstrip this one which is good and we'll get a draw but we're not hitting any of the right stuff that we want rocto sacrifice here could be a problem Well, they're looking. They are looking. Now, the good news on this one is we can definitely take advantage of this here. Um, and we will probably try and do that um, by this. All right. So nothing at instant speed there, uh, which can make a huge, huge difference. Let's drop this one. 
could drop this one in. Let's do this guy. We'll see if they want to get rid of that. They might not. But I'll take the two. Get that thing off the board. Alright, that's fine. Four through. Alright, so here's how we do it this way. We will go like this. We'll add this to him. There we go. We can add another one here. And trigger. It's a lot of damage to swing in with. We'll take advantage of it. Five. If they if they block here, that's still seven. It's not quite lethal. Um, we put a little bit of a risk here. Probably block on that. Let's just go with the five. No reason to risk it actually fully. Ooh, big ramp. Could be a problem. Itali. Oh, she altered. Uh, what do we want to do here? We don't quite have everything that we want. They have something in place still. Let's go ahead. See what they go with. So two, four, six, eight, nine. It's not lethal. Do they pick something good up? Chandra's a good board wipe. Time to light up the darkness. Ooh. Here, have a gift. Up to two targets. They didn't take advantage of that, huh? Really going for it. Comboing out here. There, they hit. They hit. It's pretty much going to be very hard for us to come back at this point because we don't have the two. Um, on top of that, they got total board control and they got breach in now. We'll see what they pull. And we're going to just dip because we ain't coming back. Unfortunate. Generally, I always say play it out. However, we know our opponent is quite active here and we will not going to win that. All right. On to the next one here. Now, again, that kind of showcases one of the challenges. Like I said, with that list, if we would have had... Uh, removal uh, that could have helped us get through some of those things if we would have had damage to the face that might have helped us get through um, unfortunately she altered became a problem um, and they were able to get to where they needed to be all right here we go JP money 56 Now, we don't have our one drop. I'm going to keep this, though, because we got removal. We do have this. And we got both both colors here. We do have haste on this. I might do this. Let's go here. We want to put the pressure on. 
That is okay for now. Now if we do this, this will get more expensive as well. So I'll leave it at that. There we go. Three in. This we can deal with. Um, on a number of levels. The question is, is it going to be enough? So we'll get the plus two, we'll get a roll token. It's not going to quite get us to where we want to go. One more land may get us there. Ooh, we didn't quite get it though. Um, we got Squee. Swing in. Ooh. They need lethal on this. If they don't kill us, or they don't gain life, we might be okay. It's a big swing on damage for mono white. And again, we got monstrous rage, so we just need to get through. Hitting the charming kills him. All right. Thank you. We'll take it. I don't know why they did that, but we'll take it. Nice. That is a claim. So one and one. Let's go ahead into match three. So beating Mono White is nice. Again, it is one of the best lists and best of one that we were able to outperform there because we were faster. Um, it does help on the play, but we did not have a one drop. Um, we had enough to get by though, which is good. All right, Satan it is. Let's see how this goes. Opponents first, we'll keep this one though, because we can do that combo here with Dusk Legion again. We also have Regal Bunny. Ooh, mono red though. It's gonna be a fast paced match here. Now, I do like the draw. That is not gonna be as high of damage though, which is a problem to pay attention to. Our friend here is definitely gonna burn. So can't block when it's dealt damage exile that many cards from the top of our library we're going to take advantage of the draw here because we know that it's at least coming and then that still protects a couple of the other things that we have here Ooh, they didn't burn it Ooh, and they have that Ooh, 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 I like this now. 
Now we are in the play. Let's grab this. Oh, we can grab this guy instead. They may have, you know, one of the things that wipes your board. We'll see. Could be more on the burn side. If they don't, they might be okay. We'll see. Now, running hopeful initiate, we can pound that out of the way. We didn't do that. I will kill this. I can deal with that. Blocking's better for us here. Uh, shoot. It's not great, even though this thing's huge. Um, let's drop this. So we want to get damage in. All right, so they have to do lethal here or wipe my board. It could be very close. They'll get, what is it, two more or plus one? Plus one. They need one more burn. Oh, we are good. We are good, my friends. Do I pay this? Let's do it. Ah! We're not going to pull what our opponent did before. <laughs> nice. Nice, nice, nice. We took down Mono Red too, which is great. So we comboed Mono White and Mono Red into Boros. And the best part is we beat Mono Red and we beat Mono White. Unfortunately, we did not win our first match, but that is how it goes. All right, so let's pull us all back together. Very, very smooth run here for Boros Aggro. We did talk about some of the challenges um, with this list. You did see how that could happen. We did not get the Siege Veteran combo going. Um, we did see pretty much everything else, which is great in core. Um, to the new woe list here or wilds of eldraine so i'm happy about that net we did go two and one which is a great result like i said we beat mono white and mono red which is always awesome um with that i just want to say thank you thank you for tuning in as always i appreciate your support thank you for the likes and the subs as we grow to such an amazing community here um on top of that i got uh, memberships available to you so thank you to all the members as always something a little bit for everyone there cool you get emotes and icons and fun stuff um, special recognition, which is always nice. So thank you uh, to everyone that supports the channel. Additionally, other great ways to support down below. If you're looking for cards, we got stuff there, affiliate links, all kinds of fun stuff. Check that out. Um, another great thing. So thank you. Lastly, if you got a question, if you got a comment, do let me know because I'd love to hear from you. And come swing by the Discord server and say hello. We got some great brews going in there. So shout out to the crew um, and everyone. Some awesome stuff and some great mythic stuff. So thank you to everyone um, for sharing. And uh, with that, may Boros Aggro run over Mono White and Mono Red and be in your favor. All right. We'll see you again soon. Until next time, Mithras out of here.